excited Hazel. We just <laughs> arrived. I have to run because I have a coaching call in like five right, minutes. I want, Sorry, you to, I want you to open it. <gasps> oh, oh Hazel, turn around. Hello, I apologize. I look like an egg. My hair is in absolute state, but <sighs> this is here. Oh my god. So when I first opened it, I wasn't sure about the cover. I thought it looked a little bit almost faded, but I think it was the not for resale band going through it, which comes with all proof copies. That was a bit like, I think that's what kind of put me off. But yeah, it's the cover of my book and I changed the size of it. Wait, let me get, I still believe. So this is my first book that I did and you can see the size difference in them. So this is the size that Amazon recommends. But for me, honestly, like if you look at the size of my hand, it was a little bit big for me. Like I thought it was a little bit too big. I think for a non-fiction book that's fine, but for a novel I wanted it to be a bit smaller. Also, the text I did in Times New Roman, but I wasn't particularly keen on how it read and when I was putting the page numbers in I this line came up but I did like how it had the title of the book at the top but again for non-fiction for me that was absolutely fine I also didn't manage to indent properly so it was all just justified um, and that's just on me this is just stuff that I've learned from self-publishing. So I knew that for Ocean's Daughter, I wanted to make the book a bit smaller. So if you see from here, it's a little bit narrower and it's quite a bit shorter and it's thicker. <laughs> if you look at the two books side by side, quite a bit thicker, but this book is longer anyway. Um, got my name on the spine here. So what I learned was that I wanted the text to be in a different, let me just show you the prologue because you're not allowed to see the rest of it. Um, I wanted the text to be different, so this is a completely different font and I think that this font reads better. I think it's nicer to read. I managed to put the page numbers in without the line, which literally took forever. And I also changed the font of the chapter headings. So yeah, I think this is going to be a much more comfortable read. It's definitely the size and everything that I would want a book of mine to be. And then just the blurb on the back. But yeah, I like it. And thanks to Justine Berthet for doing the cover art. She's incredibly talented. I'll link her details below. everyone, good morning, welcome to another vlog. So, I was just checking that shape of my armpits, don't think I have, it's fine. So today we've come to the beach, finally. It's my mum's last day here. Oh, sad face. But we've got quite lucky with the weather. We had a massive thunderstorm last night and it seems to have kind of cleared everything up because it was so like muggy and heavy. Um, so yeah, now it's a nice kind of Nice breeze coming in, some sun, so we're gonna sit here, enjoy the sun, listen to the waves, and yeah, that's that. I'm gonna read my proof copy of Ocean's Daughter next to the ocean. As you do, make sure there's no mistakes, check everything. It's like, I'm like Santa Claus, making a list, checking it twice. But when you're an author, you make a book and you check it 25 times. Um, and then I think this afternoon we're going to head in to Auntie and get an ice cream maybe, so yeah. I thought I'd vlog just this day because I uploaded my weekend vlog last week, well, yesterday, but when you watch this it'll be last week. And I got some really nice comments on it, so it made me a little bit more confident to, to just vlog my daily life because people seem to really enjoy it, so I thought I would do it again. Yes. 
so I just left the beach to go to the bakery to get some lunch. Um, I'm wearing one of my new masks actually. This is from a family friend. She's more like family. My Auntie Jerry's daughter. Auntie Jerry's not my auntie. The backstory you never wanted. Anyway, she makes um, a lot of kind of sustainable alternatives. She also sent me um, some reusable makeup wipes, which is pretty cool. Um, but this is one of the masks that she made me with some dolphin fabric. So I will leave her details in the description box below um, in case you're interested. But I also think I might film like a little sustainability haul. Um, but I really like this mask because it's very breathable. Like this bit kind of sticks out a bit so it's not sat on your nose or anything. And it's currently, I want to say maybe like 29, 30 degrees and I can breathe really well in it. So that's fine. But I hope my mum's going to be okay with what I got for lunch because they had no croissants left. So we're back from the beach and we're about to go to Auntie for an ice cream. But I thought I'd quickly show you the masks that my mum brought over from um, the... Her name's Danielle, but her shop is called Alex and Rhea. So there's a space inside it for you to put a filter in if you want to. And then elastic ties. She has different types of elastic ties. And she also has fabric ties. And this was a custom fabric that my mum asked. Because it has little dolphins on it, but she does have lots of different fabrics. And then she also... My mum also sent me um, some of this bamboo terry cloth reusable makeup stuff so this is just to go over my hair while I'm doing makeup it's super soft so it's really nice to keep my hair at my face and then these reusable cloth wipes makeup wipes which again are from the bamboo terry cloth which is very very soft which is perfect so she sent a few of these and also I really like the the pattern on this, I think it's really cute with the florals. Just some larger face cloths. So yes, thank you Danielle, thank you mum. And details for this small business in the description box. So for once in her life, my mum's fine with being on the vlog because you can't see Between the see glasses face. and the mask, you can't <laughs> see me. <laughs> so have you, have you enjoyed your week? I have, it's been wonderful. But the weather's been great, but it's good to see you fit and healthy and everything's okay with you. I know. And that was my main reason for coming. I know. It's been nice to see you. It's been too long without you. Oh, definitely. I just thought it would be good for you to actually show your face on the vlog. Cause I can't see anything. Of, no, I know, but as of right now, it just just me and it be like my mum is here my mum is here and you haven't seen it so I promise she is here yeah I'm here <laughs> looking like you're about to rob a store but you're really <laughs> hello we are back from auntie but ice cream was delicious but going into the city these days just makes me really uncomfortable there's just too many people it's too busy and no one's wearing a mask and no one's social distancing so we did our best to kind of weave in and out of people and take ourselves away to like eat our ice cream sitting down and then put our masks back on and walk out but yeah but I wanted to show you guys what I got in Primark yesterday so we went to Primark yesterday to get some baby stuff for one of my best friends who's gonna have a little girl at the end of this month um, 
and some of the Disney baby stuff. Oh my god, it's so cute. So I didn't really pick up very much. I got a set of pajamas for myself and a notebook. So I thought I would share that with you. I do apologize for looking so much like an egg in these vlogs, like with my hair scraped back and frizzy and no makeup on my face. It's just too hot to even be bothered. So I apologize, but I am filming some content next weekend to do with the book release and stuff. So I will probably put some spackle on my face and I'll look a little bit more pleasing to the eye, I think. So for the baby, the first thing we picked up were these three little bandana bibs that say smiles and giggles. And then just a plain pink one and then another one saying smiles, giggles and cutie on them. I thought that was super cute. And this is just pre-mark baby. This isn't Disney baby. Although they did have Disney bandana bibs as well and I have already taken the price off but I think this was 4 50 4 euros 50 for the three but I thought that was super cute the next thing I got her was this pack of five short sleeve bodysuits and these are Disney babies so it's all the little Marie's god I couldn't get the price off so it was five for ten euros I'll need to try and get this off before I give it to her um, so it's the little Marie from the Aristocats which I think is just super cute just nice and simple and easy and when, this is something my mum taught me, but when I'm buying for new babies I usually get three to six months instead of newborn because everyone buys newborn and they grow out of it so fast that it's usually a better idea to get a little bit bigger than that. And then the last thing I picked up for the baby was this little Bambi like toy blankie thingy. It's got like love hearts underneath but it is one it's adorable and two it is so soft it is so soft and this was five euros again I'm str really struggling to get the price off of these I need to try better before I give it to her I'm seeing her next week but yeah it was just it was just too cute to leave too cute to leave and so soft so soft and then as we were leaving the baby section I passed the stationery section and I can never say no to a notebook anyway but when it is a Disney notebook it's even harder so I picked this up it's hardback got some more cute Mickey Mouses on the front and it's just lined like this as a writer I use a ridiculous amount of notebooks perfect so the last thing I got were these little cropped pajama set um, a little Bambi well thumper Bambi characters um, it's just like really thin cotton which I think is quite good now and it's short sleeved. I always, I feel like Primark is very true to size so I'm medium in Primark so that's a UK size 10 to 12 and I think, what's that in European? Yeah 40 to 42. So in the bottoms I'll always get a medium but in the tops I always get a large especially for pajamas just because I like to have them a little bit baggier. I'll show you what they look like on now. I'm so sorry for the terrible lighting, but is this zoomed? Yes, this is zoomed. But this is what they look like on. So these are the bottoms. This is a medium. And they fit really well. Like they're still pretty stretchy. God. I tried to close this door so you wouldn't see my toilet. <laughs> the wind's just blowing open. Oh well. So yeah, the top's nice and baggy, which I like. And both of them fit. And it's not too tight around the arms either. And I think this little what is it that it says? Stay home in PJs Canada Day. That's every day for me. And then Miss Bunny. Cute. Yeah. These are a winner for me. And my toilet. bit later now um, me and mom just had dinner and watched Toy Story 4 um, she hadn't seen it yet I saw it back in January and I really like it I, I actually like Toy Story 4 better than Toy Story 3 I really didn't like 
the big purple bear. He scared me. But anyway, I have a coaching call now. And then I don't really know what we're going to do. But I can't believe it's my mum's last night already. Mm. It'll be sad to see her go. going to miss her. It's the hardest part about living away from home. Okay, my coaching is finished, but I thought I would show you guys this because I was talking about me being the queen of notebooks. This little book has literally saved my life this year because I have so many different things to do. Yeah, right down on my birthdays, I like this, that it has important dates to remember. Not that I would forget my mum's birthday. I forgot my dad's birthday before. Sorry, dad, but never forgot my mum's birthday. But it's split into um, this part, which is, I'll take you to a blank one. It's laid out like this, and it just says a busy week, which I really like, because there's some weeks where I forget to write in this, and then other weeks where I come back. So if I miss like three weeks or so, sorry, this is really focusing terribly. Focus. Focus. Not focusing. Hang on. Okay, I brought you closer to the window, so it'll focus now. So I like that you can write the date so it's not like if you forget to write in it for a few weeks that you're wasting half of the book because it works to the year so you can kind of pick and choose. Love that it breaks it down into morning, afternoon and evening. Has space for your must do's, stuff that you can push to next week. This helps to stop my anxiety so much because then I can be like, it's okay if I don't get to it this week, I can move it to the next. And then it's space for some notes. I also love that they have this events page, um, so I use this to plan Christmas. So it has um, space for your budget and for your to-do list, what's happening, who's coming, when is it, and then a whole page for notes. So this is like a perfect thing to help you plan almost anything. And then the last section of it is literally just a to-do list, which I love. I mean, it even breaks it down in things you have to do if there's time. You know, it's just a tidy mind. No, what's the phrase? A tidy life is a tidy mind. And this helps my anxiety no end. If I can write it down and I can see it, I'm a happy bunny. I apologize. I tried to take my hair down to make myself look less like an egg and I honestly think I've made myself look worse. It needs washed so badly. I apologize. But yeah. Just came on here to say that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, I love getting my camera out and recording these memories and watching them back. So yeah, it's just been a nice last day with my mom and really sad that she's leaving tomorrow. It's always hard saying goodbye. It's lovely having people to visit, but saying goodbye is tough. I mean, seeing her for one week out of 10 months, not fun. But I'm very, very grateful that she came, very grateful that we are still touch wood healthy, that we have managed to socially distance this whole week and keep away from people as much as possible and I'm just praying that she'll be safe on the flight home and COVID will stay away. Um, so yeah, just bittersweet, sad to see her go. Um, but hopefully we're going to see each other in November. So not as long, July, August, September, October, November, four months, like four and a half months till we see each other again. So not as long this time, thankfully. So as always, guys, thank you so much for being here, for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, like it, subscribe below if you haven't already. And I will see you guys the next time I make a video. Bye.